Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Dutch Sea channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. And what I have here is an iFlight, iFlight Nazgul 5. It is a 5 inch freestyle quadcopter, an RTF. And uh, what weight <laughs> RTF? This looks distinctly like a self-built quadcopter Dutch RC. And uh, you wouldn't be wrong, what I've basically done here is uh, built uh, an, uh, a replica of the Nazgul 5. Since the Nazgul 5 isn't available yet, and I'll have a link in the description to the Nazgul 5, go, go check it out. I think it's a very uh, interesting quadcopter for two reasons. One, it's a brand quadcopter, iFlight. It is their newest freestyle frame, the XL5 version 4, and it's also very affordable. At least at the time I'm shooting this video, it's very affordable. Check it out, you can't buy it yet, but um, yeah, again, I think the, the price makes this a... Uh, should make it a killer quadcopter. It's not a super complicated quadcopter, of course. It's a basic freestyle frame. And it's an F4 stack, but well, it's it's no, it actually the stack is 6S capable. The, these motors are 4S. Yeah. Okay. Again, check it out. And in this video, I'm gonna uh, do two flights: one uh, line of sight, main of flight, and then I'll try to uh, fly it FPV as well. So, okay. So I'll be using uh, this here lipo. It is a Gens Ace tattoo and not the R line, uh, the 1300 4S and it's a 75C. Now that's not a hugely powerful LiPo, as you probably know, but I don't have an action camera on the quadcopter yet. So this, this combination should work out fine. It's a pretty light quadcopter as it is now. Once I add an action camera, I will probably switch to a, an R, R line version of this LiPo, right? Higher C rating. Okay, enough said and done. Let's fly this sucker. Here we go. Okay, and if you are wondering, I will be using the Horus X10S as the radio. I have to tell you that I haven't set up the voice uh, feedback up correctly for this quadcopter yet. So you will probably be hearing uh, low battery, battery critical, uh, and uh, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and uh, let me see. Arm. Battery critical, low battery. Uh, oh, low battery, yeah. Okay, don't worry. And we have ourselves a flying quadcopter. Cool stuff. This is uh, generally my uh, first uh, takeoff with the quadcopter, so I'm always glad to see the quadcopter fly. Ha! Uh, the first thing I noticed is, by the way, uh, the, that battery these. Critical, that these <laughs> that these Zing motors um, run very quiet. Um, if I arm the quadcopter, I generally hear that uh, the props spin up. On this one, I battery don't. Critical, battery. battery. Cool stuff. It uh, flies. Now, um, uh, let's do a punch out, even though I'd. I'd mostly be testing the LiPo, but um, I'm also listening for oscillations, and that's mostly uh, concerning the tune. This is Betaflight 4.0.4, and battery. I and I haven't done any tuning yet, which makes sense, right? This is the main of flight, so RSSI low. RSSI low? That shouldn't be the case. That is a bit battery concerning. Critical. Low battery. Um, okay, so the quadcopter. Shut up, bird. <laughs> the quadcopter flies very, very well. RSSI low isn't something I was hope, hoping to hear. That's a bit weird. Two minutes. That that bird doesn't seem to like the quadcopter. <laughs> Battery critical, low battery. 
but the quad itself flies beautifully especially for a completely untuned tuned quad battery critical low battery very very nice now um, i'm not sure if you'll be able to see the quadcopter well enough it's all black mostly no leds uh, yeah i'm a bit um, lazy i guess battery i should I, sh I could have added some uh, some LEDs, that would have been nice. But uh, it sounds it sounds like a well-tuned quad. Very, very nice. Battery critical, low battery. So I'm happy uh, that it flies well. Um, three minutes. Three minutes. It should be able to fly at least four minutes on this battery, I'd say. But we will see in the FPV flight. In fact, enough with this uh, line of sight, mambo jambo. Let's set it down. Engines disarmed. Motors. Um, the motors are a bit warm. Yeah, the motors are a bit warm. ESC doesn't feel warm. Lipo isn't warm. Cool. The motors are a bit warm. Warmer than I would have liked, to be honest. Oh well. Okay, so what I'll do next is I'll uh, switch to my DVR recording of the FPV flight. And I won't be narrating it, uh, but you tell me what the FPV flight looks like. Here we go. Here we go.